What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing a gameplay with the Toronto Raptors team that just won the NBA championship. So before we do anything, I'm going to make sure that I actually have the correct logos. So let's go Raptors. Well, I have something for the Raptors. I don't actually have something for every team, which is a bit crazy. But um, there's some teams like, not the Wizards, the Hawks. Is it the Wizards? Wizards arenas are really hard to get. Like, there's actually certain like team stuff that is actually really hard to get. So, you just go retro. Just doing this now so you don't forget it. And, I don't know, I'll go current away. But yeah, so, obviously we're starting with the five Galaxy Opals. We're playing Kyle Larry at the two because he is slightly taller than Fred Van Vliet. And yeah, obviously we have Kawhi Leonard. Pascal Siakam's a weird card, and I'll talk about that in a minute. And then we have one of my favorite centers of all time, Marcus Gasol, who, until two years ago, I used to believe I believed was the best center in basketball. Now Nikola Jokic, without doubt, and then probably Embiid second. But Marcus Gasol is still top ten in my opinion. But uh, yeah, so anyway, we got Fred Van Vliet at the one, 99 overall, 99 offense and defensive overall, 16 Hall of Fame badges, including limitless range charge card. Uh, difficult shots, defensive stopper. He has got tireless to score as well, which is good. Picking your own maestro. And yeah, should be quite good. Gold dimer as well. He's six foot tall, so very undersized. He's got 95 shot mid, 98 shot three. He has got a 70 driving dunk, 98 ball control. He's got 96 steel, 95 shot contest, 97 speed sweep on acceleration, 98 lateral quickness, as well as 98 on ball defensive IQ. So stats wise, he's quite good. Kyle Larry, unfortunately, for some reason, doesn't have limitless range. He's six foot one, even though previous years he's been listed as six foot. Limitless is a very important badge to have on small guys, and it's a most most needed one, especially since they only gave him sixteen Hall of Fame badges. There was no reason not to give him uh, Hall of Fame limitless. But Kyle Larry, just like Fred Van Vliet, is a good mid range shooter, good three point shooter. However, he's not going to dunk at all, whereas Van Vliet will dunk when he's wide open. Ninety seven ball control. He's got ninety seven steal. And 96 speed speed ball and acceleration. He has got 97 lateral quickness, 98 on ball defensive IQ. And yeah, so it should be a really just okay card. Like these two guys, if they were six foot three, would be a lot better than they are. But hey, look, their stats are good anyway. Kawhi Leonard, I've just done a gameplay on him. He's a little bit baited with his release, but he does have 20 Hall of Fame badges, including limitless range. He's also got some absolutely insane stats, like 98 three ball, 99 shot mid. He's got 98 driving dunk, 97 ball control, 95 block, 99 shot test, 99 steal. He's also got unbelievable speed speed ball acceleration and is basically perfect on defense. Pascal Siakam, I'm actually going to go on to after Marcus L. So Marcus L, 7 foot 1. He's got 16 Hall of Fame badges, including. Um, he doesn't have a limitless, unfortunately. I don't mean even mean Hall of Fame limitless, even gold limitless. Does he have Deep Range Jedi? He does not. I don't think I'm going to be using him too much, so. I'm not going to really be too bothered in giving him Limitless yet, but um, I definitely will at some stage in the future when I get more of that badge. And then we're on this Pascal Siakam. So you're looking at Siakam stats and you're like, oh, this guy's going to be quite good. 18 Hall of Fame badges, you cannot complain with that. He's also 6'9", got good post hook and fadeaway. He's got a good shot mid, good shot three. He's got a good driving and standing dunk. Unfortunately, he can't speed boost, but with, um, with a shoe he can. 92 block, 95 shotgun test, 92 steal, great rebounding stats, decent speed or and acceleration, okay speed of ball, I guess. Good enough flower quickness and good on ball defensive IQ. However, however, if you guys look at Power Forward's Pink Diamond, Pascal Siakam, as you guys can see here, they're both A plus and everything and B plus and the same. Look at this. So Hall of Fame badges, there's one difference. Pascal Siakam, um, the Pink Diamond has got 17 compared to 18 for the Opal. But look at the stats. Pink Diamond is better in the post, better from mid, ba better from three, much better off dribble, whereas only a plus one difference contested. A little bit worse in contact dunk. He can speed boost, which is massive. He's also a better shot blocker, got a better steal rating. Basically the same rebounding. Speed sweep on acceleration, almost identical. Minus 10 strength is a little bit of a big deal. Well, it's not really a little bit of a big deal, it's a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, minus two lateral quickness. But he has got higher on ball defensive IQ, so they kind of even out. But basically, you are getting you're giving up the ability to speed boost and worse overall total stats for plus one overall. It doesn't make sense. It actually doesn't make sense. Actually, no, it does make sense. It it's just kind of a surprise. Obviously, the intangibles are a thing. This card has got 80 intangibles, whereas the other one has 70 intangibles, hence the rating difference. 
Off the bench, we have got Jeremy Lin at the one, Donnie Green at the two, OG Ananobi at the three, Jody Meeks, or who am I going to play at the four? There's no bigs on the bench, is there? Okay, I'm going to play Ananobi at the four, and I'll play Jody Meeks at the three, because I'm not... Oh, they're both six for four. I might play Chris Boucher. Or just not run the bench at all. <laughs> That's probably a better option. But uh, yeah, the reason why we have Isaac Bonga in is because there's literally not enough Raptors players in the game. Because like Patrick McCaw, Eric Moreland, and there's someone else. There's literally not enough Raptors players on their current roster to make up a 13-man rotation that are currently in 2K. But anyway, yep, that's the team. Now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against LeBron, Melo, Paul, George, Giannis, and David Robinson. Go Van Vliet. We saw two bad release. We knocked it down anyway. Let's go. This is going to be very, very tough because although these guys are Galaxy Opals, these are some of the worst Galaxy Opals in the game. Let's go. Oh, come on. Bump steal from my own player. Like, we've actually done well. Like, I know obviously we're down, and you might be saying, oh, that's a bad thing we're down, but like, we're only down two. This could be so much worse. Does he have difficult shots? Hopefully. Maybe not. Maybe he does. That was the bad shot there. Bumpley. Larry. Three. Bad release. Come on. Good shot, though. All right, we've done a good job so far. Like, we are two of five. The fact that we're tied is crazy. Let's go, Kawhi. He's got to step on him. Easy dunk. I don't know why I haven't gone to Kawhi at all yet. But he's probably the only semi-threat we have on the offensive end for creating his own shot. Unless you can't see Akam. Good job, we're on the break, nice layup, tie game. Yeah, we got the bench in now. This is going to be even tougher. Because we have Silver, OG, Ananobi trying to guard Opal Paul George. Oh, Jeremy Lim burns him, let's go. That was a good play right there. But we've also got Emerald, Danny Green. Actually, that's not too bad a matchup. Emerald Green's a good defender. Unlucky. Alright, so we're down by three points at the end of the first. And uh, not the best first quarter not the worst like conceding 13 is good however scoring 10 is bad even for a team like this Doc, jeremy lynn leaner knocks it down let's go Tie again three ball green or it's a two damn we actually took the lead we actually took the lead my like, Kawhi is in the game right now but he is being guarded by a significantly better version of himself in paul george they go right down tie the game and now we have got Bronze Boucher in the game. But I'm not even sure. I think he played. Did he play two games in the playoffs or something? I can't even go by Mello. Okay, I just shot a jump shot with a bronze. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? All of Fame Limitless. Good shot. R3. Good job. Great defense by Kawhi Leonard. Let's go. Kawhi is a fantastic defender, which, that's a very, very obvious statement. Baited. Pop to the corner. Good shot, Casal. Let's go. Alright, back to five. We're still in this game. We're somehow still in this game. Fade away. 98 rating. Good shot, Kawhi. Let's go. Two stops, two scores, and we're back in this. Nice move, Siakam. Let's go. Like we're doing a good job now scoring on offense. We just haven't been able to get a stop. Give him the three of Wilt. I know he can hit them. I know he's got a 65. Like, but he's got a 65 rating. Like in games like this where I can't get a stop because his team is just super OP. I got to take risks. I'm giving up a three with a 65 rated shooter. Is something I'm willing to risk. Reball. Smothered. Or like heavily contested. But uh, yeah. So we're down eight points going into the fourth. I think we're down six points. We could have been down eight. We're either down six or eight going into the third, but. Sure, look, it's going to take a miracle to win this game, and it was realistically going to take a miracle from the start to win this game. This guy's a good player with a significantly better squad, so. Quite open. I wish he popped for three. Good shot there by Baca, though. Defensive Baca, better offense there by David Robinson. Sometimes the cards are just too good. Three ball. A little bit of a contest. Great shot there by Serge Ibaka. Let's go. There we go, Siakam. All right, foul and timeout. Three ball. Siakam. 
96 rating, can't hit it. But Fred Van Vliet, wide open. Knocks it down. Great rebound there by Marcus Gasol to make it a three-point game. All right. One stop, one score. So we need to be back in this. No. That was going to be a fake. Oh, Gasol nearly. We got a hand on that, didn't we? Game. Good job, Gasol. Good separation. Van Vliet, leaner. Can't hit it. That's game. So in the end, Ibaka had 13. Lin had... 11, Marc Gasol had 10, uh, Fred Van Vliet had 8, Pascal Siakam had 6, Siakam was actually plus 4, Kawhi Leonard had 4, 2 of 6 for Kawhi, um, Kyle Lowry had 2, Ananobi didn't score, the silver card was plus 3 on the floor, Jar Green didn't score, Boucher didn't score, and Norman Powell and Jody Meeks, and obviously Bonga because he's a Lakers player, didn't play. So anyway, that's the video, this is the Toronto Raptors 2019 NBA Championship team. Unfortunately, I would have. I wish they would have given, say, guys like I don't know, even Jeremy Lin, and a ruby card. Given guys like Danny Green, say a diamond, a Serge Ibaka, a pink diamond, and not just gave five opals out. But look, it's two K, two K, or two K. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.